Hey guys, this is Allison. Welcome to a new episode of Gone Home. This is actually the very first episode. I don't know why I said new. So uh, let's just get right into it. You can use the arrow keys or WACID to walk. Just start. Just start me. Um, so yeah, I'm not uh, really sure what this is about. Um, never played it before. I think it's uh, one of those ones where you kind of, there's like a story and you figure out what happened or something or other like that. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Do I? Do I? Oh, okay. It's going. It's going. Okay. June 7th, 1995. That's very close to my birthday. It's not, like, super close. It's that year. <laughs> Alright. Wow. Uh, it seems, like, really dark on my side. I'm just gonna... That's not what I wanted. Uh, graphics. Brightness. 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 Yeah. That's better. Okay. Also, the, uh, the mouse was, like, incredibly fast. I'm just gonna bump that down a little bit. Okay, and we're also gonna do one more thing. Um, subtitles. Maybe sound? No? Uh, was it here? Hmm. <laughs> Ah, display subtitles. Okay. There we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, right click zoom in. Caitlin Green Briar from Portland. June 6th. I thought it said it was June 7th. Is it the next day, I guess? Press right mouse or left shift to examine a held object. Uh, I totally missed what it said the second time around. Okay, put it back. We don't need it. The mouse is still a little bit fast for my, my liking. I apologize. Okay. Oh, we can see now. What you got in here? Oh, okay, we can crouch. A Christmas duck. Oh, well, can we put it down? Give me that house key. Cool. Press 1, or I, to check the contents of your backpack. So, is that us? Yeah, it looks like it. My passport, I got it to go on my trip to Europe. Boarding pass. Spare house key under the old Christmas duck. Alright, oh, we have a map? Oh, just the front porch, huh? Alright, well, let's go in in just a second here. We don't have a flashlight. It's, uh, it's a little dark for me still. What is this? Katie. Sorry I can't be there to see you, but it's impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want mom and dad, scratched out, anyone, to know. Uh, we'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. From Sam. Well, let's go in. Oh my god, it's so dark on my side. I can tell in the recording it's not that dark. Is this a scary game? Because I didn't I didn't think it was supposed to be a scary game. <laughs> the lamp is on? Okay, forgive, forgive. Just brightness. Okay. It may be partially this lamp over here is really bright on my side. That's a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Oh, read invoice. Yes, please. Okay, movers. Kitchen boxes, bed, bed. Overweight library boxes. 1,067.76. What? That's insane. <laughs> Your total is $2,700? You need a different Dear mover. Katie, oh, hi. So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. 
And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Well, that's nice. Um, I don't know why that just started... Uh, just started playing. I didn't think I found a journal. Yo, the mouse is like actually insane. I, I'm barely moving and I feel like it's flying across the screen. Maybe that'll help. And now we're at a snail's pace. <laughs> Okay, hopefully that's okay. There's nothing in here. What about this one? Nada. Stephen King. 50 contests. Okay. Toilet paper. They put like a real baby on this paper here. That's pretty wild. Okay, well I don't think we need it. <laughs> I feel like... Our character is really short. Like, even even just the toilet seat is, like, up to our waist, almost. <laughs> okay. What else? Sam, Katie, Mom, and Dad. Jan and Terry. Okay, so that's Sam. That's us, right there. So, Sam is our sister. She doesn't want us to know where she is. It sounds like, uh... It's dead? Sam. Sam. Hello? Sam! I, I don't know, maybe that was us? Where are you? Oh. Oh, that, that's definitely us. Because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, I think that's it. So it sounds like that was semi-recently. The one in the middle scared me just a wee bit. Sam. Daniel from the old neighbor called or the old neighborhood called he wants to come see the new house call him back Mom Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever Have hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little <laughs> I mean that's a pretty good reason to hang out with somebody to be honest. It's a grab marker Look at this not sharpie. That's crazy. Put that back. What is that? Itinerary. Whoa, Katie's departure. Okay, so yeah, she said we were going to be gone for a year. I guess we went all over the place. Or... I mean, this is America, so <laughs> I don't know where, where we went based on that. Alright. Yeah, I have no clue if this is supposed to be a scary game or not. Is this open? I hope it's not supposed to be a scary game. It's freaking me out a little bit already. One or two to check the location in the map. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. Read the note. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. No one's excited. It's okay. Uh, please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that we can get you right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets. Okay, one line notebook, six pens, six pencils, box of colored pencils, standard combination lock. 
Okay, does a high school student really need colored pencils? A nutritious lunch and a positive attitude. Funny. Uh, please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell at 8 a.m. Okay. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Oh yes, playing cards. Oscar Doc Mason. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attended, or sorry, he attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside of his home. Decades before. How... Okay, a uh, service will be held Sunday on the first at, at the First Methodist Church on 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier. That's our last name. As well as, in spirit, the people of Boone County who he provided wellness and comfort. Okay, so they're related to us. What is this? I don't know who that is. I don't think it's us. I also don't think it's Sam. I don't think we need to pick up every pen in the in the game. Probably not. One of the postcards. Hi mom, dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating something from Paris and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Mom, Dad, and Sam, one Arbor Hill, weird, <laughs> Boone County. All right, put it back. Do we got anything in here? Nope, I hear talking. I don't like that I hear talking. I really freaked out, to be honest with you. I didn't I didn't think this was supposed to be a very scary game, but I'm like a little bit nervous, a little bit. Oh, hey, hello, what is this? Okay. Terrence Greenbrier, 1 Arbor Hill, Boone County. So I believe that guy that died was related to us and also lived here. Um, the entire... Uh, does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies which need correcting? Unclear. Uh, wiring in house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements, however multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable, lights blink for no clear reason, pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuitry wiring, wire, sir <laughs> and door frames disrupts circuit wired directly behind the surface properly, reworking the electrical system would be highly disruptive to the entire house. Uh, walls, floors, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. From Black Cat Electrical Co. Alright. That was 94. What we got down here? A newspaper I can't read? Papers I can't read? This, I keep looking at it, and I feel like it looks like the the box for that card game. Uh, don't know why I can't think of it right now. What is this? J the Killing of JFK, a theory. You've seen the movie Discover the Truth. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. I'm just gonna put that on the floor, actually, is what I meant. 
Oh, combination. Okay, we don't have that yet. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Not even though that piece, that place was a million miles away. No, he looked, he blinked the sleep from his eyes looking through the carbon reinforced safety glasses of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. You know, I would have crumpled that too. That's not very well written. Uh, John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment. Uh, unknown characters. Processing his sick flecked toenails. Scanning up his bare shins, bare knees, he was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that strained at the seams to contain her things uh, were with the phrase matter transference operator. Then he passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages had passed before, but now, am man. They needed him, now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What procedure, what the constru construct, what, to, what, to, what, I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> Uh, how to assemble it so it made the machine now to transport him bodily across time and now he stood there on the bridge of the starship Archimedes command of the vessel because only he who had saved the president's life twice before could helm the Neve crew to their destiny the fate of the galaxy well that was very interesting who has all these drawers and doesn't use them? Is there anything in this? I mean, I wish I had all these drawers. You can do better! JFK President? US? SR? Coalition? Chinese? Japanese? What if JFK wasn't JFK? Oh my god, dude. Was our guy, like, or whoever he was, Terrence? I forget if that's even his name. Was he, uh... Was he, like, a little bit nuts? <laughs> Pioneer CLD D703 Combination Laser Disc Compact Disc Player MSRP 99999. Uh... They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LC or LDCD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. Highlighters, what's in here? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, you know, uh, I don't know that we saw this combination, but there may be something up here. One, nine, six, three, maybe? Probably not that. Seems a little too easy. One, nine, six, three. That uh, sounded like it was opening, but I suppose not. It's so dark in here. Hello? Where is my family? Oh, hi. D d just put the lid down. What's in here? A million copies of this book. The Accidental Pariah by Terrence... Oh! This is written by Terrence Greenbrier. It said Dad's book, I thought. Okay, a message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours there will be another attempt and the lines of communication are down. Um, put it back. So it does say dad's book. So Terrence is our dad. I thought he was like 
some relative that we just got the house from, maybe. Fresh. True stories. I was a teenage drag queen. Readers tell us about their worst moments. Does anybody still care? Turn the lamp on. All the lamps are going on. What we don't we don't need we don't need this. Put that down. What's that one? A stranger under my roof. That's weird. Oh, 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 the teen years are fraught with change. So it's a self-help book for teenagers. God, Mom. Okay, 0451. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequesters from the un- from the, from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Africando want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter, I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your right and to write stuff and I could actually use it. But David's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one last shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice thank you note uh, for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again, then everybody will be happy. Uh-oh. Okay, so it doesn't sound like... Uh, so it doesn't sound like anybody's writing properly anymore. Zero four five one. I bet you that's the combo. Can I run? Okay. Luckily, I can't run. That makes me feel better. Maybe it's not a horror game then. Zero four five one. Haha. -ha. Okay, dear Mr. Mason, please find enclosed your original document and typed copy for your records. <coughs> the notarized copy has been filed at our office. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Oh my. Oh my. You, I can't read that. Um, lifelong resident of Boone County unmarried have no children so i who's mr mason i feel like oscar mason oh that that was the obituary of that guy right hang on do we have an inventory items map no just stuff that we've listened to not read that's okay so i think it was right here i still hear talking and it's still freaking me out Read obituary. Yeah, yeah, um, Oscar Mason used to live maybe here, maybe not. What's this? Oh, oopsie. Hey, are, y are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and write back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either. And so I thought I'd ask somebody if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes or no? No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho or does it run in the family? What a... What a dude. Okay. Severe weather warning on the, on the telly in the western region. Let me turn that off. What you got going on over here? You Oops. know that feeling where the first moment you see someone a book on like how to make friends gold star around them and you have to get to know them well there's this girl i think she's a senior she's usually dressed kind of punk but sometimes i see her in this like army uniform she's always drawing in this notebook looking so intense i had no idea how i would ever like have an excuse to talk to her Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Sounds like a fun person. 
All right, let's put that back. We don't need that. Get, get out of here. You know what? Honestly, having the TV on helps me see a little bit better. We don't need the soda or the plate. Hello? So, uh, the, the mouse seems to, like, slow down when I can do something, and then when I move, it's like, eh, it's super fast. That's why it keeps getting all jerky. Okay. The Heaven at the Edge of the World, Samantha Greenbrier, Grade 2, Story, The Turtle People, Part 1. <laughs> Captain Allegra. <laughs> Looked off at the ocean, it went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday, she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship, she yelled. I thought we lost them. At Horse Island, the first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, Yar, never gonna find the edge. Thar ain't no paradise, and yar father were a layer. <laughs> Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? <laughs> the first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Beautiful. That was honestly better than every single page that we read earlier about the uh, the spaceship guy okay hang on I'm gonna is this a light okay it is on okay I'm gonna go turn the TV off again get out of here oh my cat is trying to get out forgive me one moment okay and we're back all right so let's check out this pizza box it's empty Everybody ate the entire thing. Did I look at this yet? Honestly, I thought that said HBO, but it doesn't. All right. What's this? Hi, Terry. Enclosed. Please find a Pioneer CLDD703 unit with remote and cables. We need a half-page review for the October issue, so that gives you about two weeks to get us the copy for edit standard stuff like you gave us for the CLDD502. It's a combi player, so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as laser discs. So they want to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and stuff. High-end buyers. Okay. <clears throat> So it seems like he wrote books and then uh, and then started doing like reviews of stuff instead. Can I light? I guess not. <laughs> TV list listings Friday. The X Files. Mork and Mindy. Mom's old work mug. Telma cat. Oh, tell. Tell. <laughs> Forestry service. Get out of here. Why don't you put it on the coaster, mom? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's too much we can do over here. Couch pillow. Is there anything on, in the couch cushions? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. The Coliseum, a showplace of Oregon. For Pulp Fiction. Oh yeah, there's things over there too. What is this? Why is this sitting here? Hauntings and poltergeists. Find out the truth behind stories that were familiar. Okay. Put, just put it down. Oh no, don't spill that. <laughs> cool. Somebody made a little blanket for it. I assume that's Sam. Um, is there anything else over here? I think, I think we're done in here. <clears throat> oh wait, what's this?
I mean, we may as well leave that on, right? I don't know if I want to listen to the whole thing. Just get out of here. I assume we need to come back to that later or something. I don't think there's anything else we can really do in here. So, uh, you know, we're getting close to half an hour. Actually, we're at half an hour right now. Um, so I am going to end the episode here, and we'll take a look next episode at uh, the rest of the house. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you next time.